Liza Soberano and Cole Sprouse's new movie. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Liza Soberano and Cole Sprouse's new movie. Let's get right into it. Zelda Williams, the late Robin Williams' daughter, will make her directorial debut with the upcoming horror comedy Lisa Frankenstein. The film is currently in production and will undoubtedly become one of Hollywood's hottest properties when it's released. Although little is known about the project, the few details that have been revealed suggest that it will be a fresh and unique take on a well-known classic. The talent in front of and behind the camera adds to the excitement for the project, which fans are closely following. Zelda Williams is the late comedic icon Robin Williams' daughter. The feature directorial debut of the 33-year-old actress, producer and writer will be Lisa Frankenstein. She has had some notable roles in her acting career, most notably voicing Kuvira in Avatar, The Last Airbender, and appearing in shows such as Teen Wolf and Criminal Minds. However, Lisa Frankenstein will not be Williams' first foray into directing. She previously directed, wrote and starred in the 2018 short film Shrimp, which follows the lives of several dominatrixes in a BDSM club in Los Angeles. Williams signed a deal with Gunpowder and Sky to develop the short into a half-hour series shortly after its release. Shrimp showed a lot of promise and Williams will undoubtedly live up to it with Lisa Frankenstein. The screenplay for Lisa Frankenstein was written by Academy Award winner Diablo Cody. Cody rose to prominence after penning the screenplay for the 2007 sleeper hit Juno, for which he received the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay in 2008. Cody then rose through the ranks, penning scripts for cult classics such as Jennifer's Body and Young Adult. She has also dabbled in television, creating, producing and writing the Showtime series United States of Tara, as well as musical theatre, where she won a Tony Award for her book for Jagged Little Pill. Cody is well known for her penchant for dark comedy. Her projects are visceral yet rewarding due to a healthy mix of dark humour and genuine tragedy. Although details about Lisa Frankenstein are scarce, it stands to reason that the film will be a dark comedy. After all, that is Cody's speciality. Fans can also expect the film to take a strong feminist stance, which is one of Cody's trademarks. Cody will produce Lisa Frankenstein in addition to writing. Mason Novick, with whom Cody has previously worked on Juno, Jennifer's Body, Young Adult, Paradise, Ricky and The Flash, and Tully, will join her. Novick is an Oscar nominee for her work on Juno, as well as other successful films such as 500 Days of Summer. So far, Cody and Novick's collaboration has been fruitful. All of their projects have received critical acclaim, garnering acclaim for stars such as Charlize Theron and Meryl Streep. Lisa Frankenstein may not be an Oscar contender, but it should do well with critics and audiences. Catherine Newton is one of Hollywood's hottest newcomers. Newton went on to star in projects such as the 2020 horror comedy Freaky and Netflix's beloved but short-lived drama The Society after her breakthrough role in HBO's Big Little Lies. Newton will make her Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which will be released next year. In Lisa Frankenstein, Newton will play the title character, a gender-flipped version of the original Victor Frankenstein. Cole Sprouse appears alongside Newton. The actor rose to prominence as one half of the titular duo in The Sweet Life of Sack and Cody and its sequel, The Sweet Life on Deck, both on the Disney Channel. Sprouse rose to fame as Jughead Jones in The CW's Riverdale and in a number of YA dramas, including Five Feet Apart and Moonshot. Sprouse will play the monster's doppelganger in Lisa Frankenstein, bringing a youthful edge to one of cinema's most iconic monsters. In addition to Newton and Sprouse, the cast of Lisa Frankenstein includes both familiar faces and intriguing newcomers. Dale, the titular Lisa's father, will be played by character actor Joe Crest, allowing him to play yet another father of a strong-willed teenage girl in a genre film, following similar roles in Assassination Nation and most notably as Ted Wheeler on Stranger Things. Fingers crossed as he keeps his full-face glasses on. Carla Gugino has also joined the cast in an unspecified role, marking her first appearance in a feature film since Gunpowder Milkshake and the completion of principal photography on Mike Flanagan's The Fall of the House of Usher. Given the story's teen focus, Gugino will most likely play a parent or a teacher, but it would be incredible if she served as a mentor to Lisa, like Annie Potts Iona in Pretty in Pink. The film also marks the feature film debuts of Filipino-American actress, model and singer Liza Soberano and Euphoria actor Henry Eikenberry. 
In the Philippines, Soberano is a household name, while Eikenberry will soon be seen in the Apple TV Plus series The Crowded Room alongside Tom Holland. The plot of Lisa Frankenstein is being kept under wraps for the time being. The plot will follow an unpopular high school student who accidentally reanimates a handsome Victorian corpse during a lightning storm and starts rebuilding him into the man of her dreams using the broken tanning bed in her garage in 1989. Lisa Frankenstein sounds fantastically ridiculous. Teen horror comedies are more popular than ever, with A24's Bodies, Bodies, Bodies serving as a prime example of the genre's viability. The term celebration refers to the act of celebrating a special occasion, such as a birthday or the birth of a child. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.